It's Hot 937, hot937.com. Hood celebrity in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New, new music out right now. I was in the club last night. I saw the clips of the girls dancing <laughs> with each other, and you was you was coaching them along. You were like, go, go, go. You were coaching them along. Oh yeah, I'm the I'm the <laughs> listen. I'm always the friend that's hyping everybody up. But I I gotta say like they energy out here is crazy. Nuts, right? And you yeah. were really honest about that because off the air she was saying like you guys are lit up here. No, no, no. Listen, like, if lit. I go somewhere and it's not fun, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to sit down on the couch. Like, you're going to know I'm not having fun. Yeah. Like, right. I can't fake fun. Right. But I was turned. I when I say it. I was turned up, usually I'm the one that makes the crowd drain. Yeah. I be going crazy. Yeah. But they made me drain. Oh, that's Because they was going dude. crazy. And that's Halloween, too. Yeah. No, they was going crazy. And what I like about out here is that nobody really care what you got on. Like, nobody watching. Like, New York, like, we be looking at, what you got on feet? Like, out here, nobody care what you got on. Everybody mm-hmm. just, just genuinely having fun. fun. They were sweating. I, I left there sweating. You left sweating last night. I left sweating. That's a party. Yeah, that was definitely a party. And look at her today. Looking all fresh. <laughs> got Jeez. up early and everything. Shoot. Oh, I definitely got my ass up early. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really early. Do you drink coffee? No, I stopped drinking coffee, too. You did? But I drink hot chocolate. Oh! And that's yeah. what that is. Why, coffee mm-hmm. just gives you too much of a boost? Or does it make you jittery? Coffee just make my heart sound there. Mm. Yeah. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> really? Yes. Well, but I, he don't care. He keep going. Yeah, well, I've yeah. gotten used to it. I feel like it's water for me. Like, it I've makes me want to so dance. Long. And I be like, it's 6 in the morning. Why I want to dance? I used and to I'm already hyper. Yeah. yeah. I'm, already, I'm, right? I'm a very hyper person. That's me. Which is so crazy. Tell me what Which your new so music out right now. Tell me yeah. what the new music out. So I got the new EP out. Yeah. That's going super crazy right now. The so EP is called, I know we got a slang called You Know The Vibes, but the name of the EP is really You Know The Vibes. Right. So, the name of the EP is You Know The Vibes. I'm a vibe person. Like, I go a vibe. I go with energy with everything. Whether I'm around people, whether I'm in the studio, whether I'm in my crib with music. So, I named the EP You Know The Vibes because there's different vibes on the EP. Like, you got the Show Me record, mm-hmm. which is a different vibe. Talking about, I like me a homebody. You got yep. Your Daughters Cry. We're talking about my dad. You got on um, Boom it. Oh, that was crazy! I bring them back in a party vibe. What? Yeah, Boom Pony had them. So going. it's so catchy. Yeah, it had them going crazy. That Did you know to. that right away that it was going to be like that vibe? Yeah, I'm gonna be real. Yeah, you did know. Yeah, right away. Definitely. Okay, but I didn't know they was gonna like when Walking Trophy first came out. People loved the record, right? So when I go perform the record, people just take out their phones, they singing along. Yeah. With Boom Pony, I honestly feel like, and I have dancers. Yeah. But if it continue the way it's going now, I won't even need dancers. I won't even probably need to perform. Everyone's gonna have to dance. Like if you seen the video some last yeah, night, yeah. once the song come on, it's like they planned it. It's kind of like we're gonna probably need extra security because people just start jumping on the stage. <laughs> it's crazy. I love that. That's that's crazy. Crazy. Oh, you're gonna get that out here. Yeah, you are. Everybody, gonna get that everybody energy. trying to get on the stage. Yeah, everybody that's the energy be, yeah. I'm getting from the record, and mm-hmm. even in New York too. Though they was they doing that in New York because I did um I um I performed for um. Powerhouse, the pre-party, and right, right. they went crazy too. Some girl jumped on the stage too. Wow. Well, I think it's the, I think it's the video too, and it's like that's what it is. It's, it's, it's they're all looking at your video, mm-hmm. and then they want to do that. Like of yeah. course. And it's then like people learn my personality through my Instagram as well, mm-hmm. and oh they know God. that I like stuff like that too. Like I like, I think to me that's like fun. I won't tell them like, oh, kick them off. How important is your Instagram social network? To Her you? IG is so crazy. It's it's important because I feel like Instagram. You know, it's crazy, like, Instagram, to me, actually gets to show people another side of me. Who you are. Yeah, yeah. there you go. It gets to show people, like, my personality, especially when I go on live. I'm starting to feel like these people is like my family. It's kind of feeling, like, weird. Like, if they don't see me for a day or two, they start acting like, Hood, are you okay? (laughs) Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, so Instagram, really, like, it's very important. Like, people love seeing me. They love when I'm on there. They love when I get on live, like... They want to get to know you. I like what it you know does. What it brings people. It, it normalizes people. It makes people feel like, wait a minute, she gets sick like I get sick. She gets hungry like I get mm. sick. And it's true. And, mm-hmm. and people like I. It's true. Sometimes, if you're not if you're not in the business and you're just a fan, you you, you think of these fans as superheroes and things never happened to them. They That's live true. this life above our heads That's and everything. True. But I think the social network says, hey, they're just like me. I never thought about it that yeah. deep. Like, and I can get there, get, too. And it gives, yeah. it gives people hope saying, I can be like her. That's true. Yeah, I think like it's way... It's way better when you on live, when you make videos. Like, I do a lot of personality videos just so people can really, like, know what I go through, like, who I am, like, my regular routine, what I do on the regular. Then to just post a picture and just put a pretty caption. You know what I'm saying? Like, anybody could do that. Yeah, it's... I could get dressed, 
take a picture like 25 times before I actually post it and get it perfect. But when I get on live sometimes with no makeup on and just be regular, the they really be love right. that. Yeah. Because I still think, like, I feel like most women, it's like the process of having to, like, do the makeup and do everything. Yeah, like, it's a process. It's a process, and yeah. you have to do that before, like, you go out sometimes. But mm -hmm. I like the fact that you say, listen, you can be beautiful without makeup. Yeah, sometimes you people see me without makeup. Yeah. Most of the time. Sometimes I run to the store, I run to the mall. I don't always wear makeup. Right. Sometimes I want my face to breathe too because I, I got very sensitive skin. So if I do makeup every day, every day, even when I'm on the road, like now, I've been on the road since Wednesday. And I already feel that I'm breaking out because I've been doing makeup every day, at least twice a day. Oh, yeah. So when I'm in my hometown, I'm in New York, or I'm just on the road and not really doing nothing, a little free time, I don't wear makeup. Yeah. Growing up, I was so sad how my mama gave me up to the wrong dad and... So when I say the wrong dad, a lot of people probably don't know, like, okay, she just gave him to a dude that's not a real man. But the wrong dad is like, she really gave me to the wrong father. Because, well, my, my mom had me, like I told y'all earlier, like an early age, and she had me at 18. Regular teenager, she mm -hmm. was young. And I forgave her because I feel like people make mistakes. And my mom, is a, she's a great mom. But um, she was dealing with two dudes at the time. And her main dude, she couldn't let him know that she had a side dude. But it's funny because the main dude looks Spanish. Like, he is super light-skinned. The side dude is my complexion. Like, mm -hmm. and my mother's light-skinned. So when the side, when the main dude was walking around me, everybody was looking at him like, mm-mm. <laughs> 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 no, oh, that's shit. not the dad. You know, you know in oh, Jamaica, yeah. man, they... They don't sugarcoat nothing. No. Whole bunch of sucking their like, teeth. Yo, mm -mm. Yes. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes. That one. That look, yeah, that one that look like you, my youth. No, no, you're on that. <laughs> so, I re and when you cheating, man, when you cheating, and you get into a situation like that, it's kind of like a bad karma Ooh. because then you really look like the next person. And the side dude, I really, really look like him, but I still got to take a DNA test. So, like I was like, Mama was so young and um. But you was older, should have got it right, yeah. So he left when I was two. Mm -hmm. And he was locked up for like 20 years. Mm. And the side dude lives in Toronto. I met his daughter. They all look just like me. So it's just a matter of time. Like, I'm getting over it now slowly while I'm making steps. But my first step was supposed to take the DNA test. But I feel like when I actually got to talk with him, it was more about, like, money and who I am, like, you didn't. You didn't really care. You know, to get saying? to know who you to get were. to know. Yeah, there you go. Your so now I just feel like mm. when you at a level like this, you really feel like people who come around you is just to use you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like especially if they wasn't there from jump. Oh, but when it's like your father, it's like so yeah. on a different. But level. But it'd be like that. Be your you family. Know, I it'd know. Be your it, family. I oh know. yeah. And I went. I went through uh -huh. that. I went through uh -huh. that whole situation. And this the part. It's like it's like when you go to school, right? They teach you math, science. All that, all that different subjects, but they don't teach you about the streets. They don't teach you how to make your credit. They don't teach you how to build your credit score, right? So it's the same thing in the music industry. When you get signed, you just, your hood was the next record. Yeah, right. But nobody put you on, like, yo, you're going to have a lot of people who come around you just to use and abuse you. Just for that. Yeah. And it's going to be the ones, it's going to be the people who Preach you love the most and you didn't expect it from. And that's, that's the people who hurt you, cause only people, the only people that can hurt you, mm -hmm. is the people you care about. You're you can't right. hurt me if I don't care about you. You right. are so right. You know what I'm saying? So because you're not. I care. went. There you go. Right. So I went through that whole situation where even like he was saying, it be family. Do you feel like it's hardened you at all? Like, do you feel harder being in this business? Cause it's tough. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like me and my mom used to like go at it, and when I say go at it, cause not like argue, cause I'm very respectful. Like I respect my elders. So when I say go at it, like she used to tell me like. This change, like you change, you're not the same. Like, I need back Tina, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I'm like, this ain't Tina. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not gonna get back Tina. Like, I'm in an industry where I have to, like, toughen up. Yeah, you do. Yeah, because it's a tough. It's a it tough. Is. You go through it, it, it. and People when I first started, that. I went through a whole. I went through a very dark place because I was. I felt like I was too nice. I was too naive with certain things, and I'm a tough girl. Mm -hmm. But I'm very. I'm good unless you put me in a different mood to show you a different side of me. But I'm, like, when I first started, I feel like a lot of people, and like I said, it's people close to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when my, when the guy who's supposed to be my father, when he came with it, I already, I, it's like, you see it coming. You get so, you get so numb and used to it. Yeah, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. 
And I feel like it's beautiful that you can put it into music and you can spit that out and you can let it go and then yeah. it's gone. What I learned is to not let it change me. Because mm -hmm. at first when I started going through it, I was becoming like rebellious. Mm -hmm. Like now I don't give a F, like yeah. F everybody. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like, oh yep. yeah, everybody come around me for the same thing, but you, you still have good people. You know Where, what I'm where's like, Tina right now? Honestly, Tina's when I'm around my mom. Mm -hmm. My little brothers, they naive. Mm -hmm. My little brother six. My little sister, fifteen. Do you still like, have to do the dishes when you go home to your mom's? Like do you have to still do You know what's crazy? I've <laughs> always been and maybe it's not something cool to say, but I've always been spoiled. Oh okay. yeah. My mom still treat me like I'm five years old. Oh, That's Lord. Lord. <laughs> which is which is bad. Yeah. Because it is so bad. When it I got my so when I got my apartment so for the first time, I was like Yes. Cause my mom loved to give me the you know, see, I still have a room here, right? <laughs> ah, I love it, I love it. Yeah, I'm like, listen, listen. She hasn't touched your room probably No, at she all. still tell me. I still have a closet at her house, ah, too. It's so with great. my clothes. Oh, my God, that's I be telling her, like, yo, you can give them away now. You can let them go. Get them done, yo. That's that yard sale. No, she, she still makes breakfast and everything. Oh, my God, I love it. I swear to God. You don't have to wash your clothes, do anything? No. That's oh, my God. My but the good thing, that's the good great. thing is that. That's great, though. My mom has always been like that. She's always been like that with me. Right. But it's bad because my little sister that's 15 she knows how to cook majority everything really because my mom keep her in the kitchen with so you me. can't cook anything no i could cook okay hell yeah i could okay. cook you see the way she just looked at you now she what you mean i, no, 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 I could cook but <laughs> okay. i just started learning how to cook oh okay you know what i'm saying when i started living on my own on your own i'm like whoa there's something ain't right right right, right. <laughs> I need to do this. Like, yeah, like I'm a woman. I can't, I can't, like, you know I can't, I can't, I can't order out. I can't order Uber, <laughs> Uber Eats. Eats every day. No. Mm -mm. But like if, it was up, if it was up to my mom, I wouldn't know how to do anything. And sometimes oh, parents feel like they're helping you, but they really, they uh -uh. killing you too. Yes. Yeah, man. Oh, they don't wow. let go. That's the greatest though. Yeah, my mom don't want to let go. I don't know how to go. No wonder you want to go home though. I understand. Now. Yeah, she don't want to let go. And Tina wants to be there. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm there, I'm definitely Tina. Hood, yeah. Before we let you go, you want, I'm asking you a question. Can you sing your song, your newest single? Trevor, yeah. Trevor gonna play a tune, the newest one. Okay. And I, I want you to just go over it like you was earlier. Send them all. I got without you. the mic on. Okay. I got you. Trevor, oh, without the up. mic on. Okay. Yeah. Mic is on, let's go. Keep the headphones on? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's live. Tip and toe. Tip and toe. I'm bending low now. Tip and toe. Boom, bunny. Boom, bunny. Say you want me to come. Boom, bunny. Boom, bunny. Boom, bunny. Say you want me to come. Boom, bunny. Tip, 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 tip. Bend down low now. Boom, pan hit. Boom, pan hit. Say you want me to come boom. Big body girl just a wine with the thing pan timing. When you find me, you know say you find it. Aim with the thing a fish shoot pan target. Walk with the walk I'm in a comfy target. But a bit, no say you have it. Waistline of you in a panic. Make you fly come cross Atlantic. Say you want me to come boom, pan hit. Boom, pan hit. Boom, pan hit. <coughs> Say you want me fi come boom pan it, boom pan it, boom pan it. Say you want me fi come boom pan it, tip 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 on me down now. Whoa! Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> we were all just, just singing like it a, with you. We were all just, just like the record. You Thank you. Do. Just like the record. Did you ever take lessons? Nah, it's really like it's natural for me. Oh, honestly, so dope. Oh. You sound exactly like the record. No, I, thought, I thought he was playing the vocals in the back. I said, no, he, he got playing the vocals. No, thank you. You dope. You're really I feel dope. like it's more like every time I do a record, I get back. And it's crazy. I was telling this to um, Melissa yesterday in the, um, in, the, in the car driving. Every time I do a record and I hear my record, I got to get back into that character. Whatever character I was in while mm -hmm. I was in the studio, I got to get back in that character and that same vocal. It. I'm so happy to have a celebrity here because I partied so hard last night, my energy was like <laughs> real low and I was on high. And I'm sure that's everybody that's listening right now that was partying on high. Because she just lift us all up right now. I, really, you really do. Y'all so lift awesome. me up too. But your vibe is really good. I'm so no, glad that yes. that's what the album is. You know, your thank EP you. is called you that. Know the vibe. Yeah, you know the vibe. Because thank that's you. about who you are. You better yep. know it. If you didn't know it, you know it's a thing. I love it. And thank you for being so honest. Thank you. Because know, sometimes it's really hard to talk about your personal no, like right. you know, you like that, but yeah, I really feel like your your really hardcore fans no, love to you. love it's to hear, okay. especially for a cancer man. Yeah, we keep a lot. We don't open we up until no. we want you to know. 
Yeah. You got that right. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Good yeah, stuff. so uh, we appreciate you being real open Thank you with so us. Much. Thank and you. you have a home here. You understand that. Like, oh, thank you. You have a room. Like you have a room here. Say them when I stop moving in. You're going to come in and do Yo, a whole mommy, show. Yo, mommy, where my bag? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a card key so you can get in when you're yeah. good. You can co-host the show with Nancy. I'll Anytime. say home that day. The take ladies, the ladies, take ladies over the show. Take over. We need to take. That sounds like a vibe, right? Hold on. That's not like we, a vibe. I, I, we sometimes should really I, help women. No, I'm with, like, serious. What's going that sounds like a vibe. Seriously. Sometimes I say stuff and don't mean stuff. No. no, that's not like no. That's really a good idea. <laughs> that's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Buck, you go home right now. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Who needs Buck? Oh, oh, they send him Buck home. Oh, that's why I'm You signed the checks last night. We're good. Oh man. It was payday yesterday, guys, so we're man, happy about that. Me, man. You know the vibe. Thank you so much for getting up early and coming in here because nah, thank you, you guys for having me. Oh my god, it was such you. a treat. Huh? And I love the energy. Here. I don't feel like it was an interview. I feel like I was sitting down just we talking just talk. to my people. Mm -hmm. The vibe in That's here good. is always pretty good. So we yep. we really appreciate you coming in and being you. out la last night with Craig and. And yeah, what you were doing. Oh, Lord. Thank you so much for coming in and looking <laughs> thank beautiful. Thank you for having me. I love you. Yes, thank right, you. Right, so looking much. nice, wearing a fur, makeup done. You know the vibe. Because some okay. artists be walking up in here looking crazy. <laughs> so listen, our hot morning crew picture is going to be with, with Hood Celebrity today. So yes. make sure you check out. And Trevor the engineer. And Trevor. Yeah, Trevor. You're going to get to see what he looks like. Trevor with his guns yeah, out. Yeah, Trevor, big up yourself. Trevor. <laughs> guns out right now. Thanks Thank a lot for coming. Thank you for having me. Love you so much. Love y'all too. The spirit of the duck is alive. That is amazing. Yeah.